everyone welcome to today's tutorial so i'm going to help you solve question six from uh tutorial sheet one and uh, uh my name is hamten if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do so by just clicking on the button which is just below the screen there uh, and then you are done all right so question six says state the cardinality and write down the power sets of uh of um each of the following so if you want to find this question on youtube you simply just have to go on youtube and search for this part here so you just say ash ts1 meaning tutorial sheet one q6 meaning question six and then l m m u which is just the name of your university okay so um here the first question is a is equal to 8 so the cardinality of this set is 1 so what is the cardinality cardinality is simply just the number of elements um, in a given set and then when we say write down and then when you're told to write down the power set uh, a power set is simply just a set that contains uh, is a set that contains the subsets of a given set yeah, so when they say the cardinality of a power set is simply just the number of uh, subsets a given set has. So in this case, the cardinality of uh, set A here is just 1. So the cardinality of set A is just 1. So N is just 1. And then the power set of this simply just... So the power set which is represented by P. So the power set which is P, the power set of set A is just equal to, uh, we're going to have an empty set to be one of the sets. And then apart from an empty set, you also have the set itself which is uh, 8. So this is the power set of this set. Let's quickly move on to this. Cardinality of set B, which is the N of set B. Cardinality of set B is simply just three, meaning we, ha we only have three elements in set B. And then apart from that, we find the power set of set B. So the power set of set B is uh, denoted by P of P, which is equal to, we list the subsets of this set. So the subsets you can first start by X itself. You have Y. Then you have Z then you have X Y you have X Z so make sure that you put commas there and then you have y z and then you have um, y z and then apart from y z you have um, x z do you have x z yes it's there you have x y x z y z okay one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have an empty set as well. Then apart from an empty set, we have the set itself, which is X, Y, Z. So this is what uh, 
we are supposed to write when we are taught to write the power set of a, any given set so it is just as simple as this yes it is just as simple as this so um let's move on to the next question which is part c which says find the cardinality of this set the cardinality will still be uh, n is equal to 2 because there are only two elements there okay and then the power set of set C so the power set we have of course an empty set then we have the set itself which is 2 comma there is another set inside there okay there is another set inside there so we are counting that set to be just one element and then apart from that we have two and we have that set so we have okay let me just close this we have two I'm not able to write properly today I'm not I, I don't know why so two and then we have uh, three which is just this set so counting it as one element okay and then apart from that what else do we have so one two three four we have four elements in the power set of set c so this is the solution all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial okay i didn't see that this also b so let's also solve question b the part question b 6b okay so 6b says let the universal set be that and then A is that, B is that, C is that. So this one is straightforward. So I'll just pick a few questions from there. And then we'll see what follows. Okay. So to find B complement, we just list whatever that is in the universal set, but not in B. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So meaning we'll just list the odd numbers there, including 0. So there we have 0, have 1, 2, 3, then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just list the odd numbers there. Then A intersection B, we find the common elements between A and B. So the common elements between A and B, we have 2, 4. We have 2 and 4. B union C, B union C, 2, 4, 5, 6. So B union C is just 2, 4, 6, 2, 2 4. It's just going to be 2, 4, we're just combining the two sets B and C. 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. And then we have A complement intersection, I mean union C complement, which can also be written as A intersection C, A intersection C complement using De Morgan's law. So A intersection C complement. So what is our A intersection C? So A intersection C we have two, we have four and five. Two, four, five, yes. A intersection C then we have, which is two, four, five, we find the common em elements between A and C and then the complement of this set so the complement of this set so the complement of this set is simply just 
whatever that is in the universal set but not in B, um, but not in A intersection C. So we have zero, we have one, we have uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so this is our solution. We we'll quickly move on to this this one here. Okay, so this one is saying B minus. I think this was just an error. Yeah, so this was just an error. Maybe it was supposed to be B minus A or B minus C. So if it was B minus A, then this simply means that this is just the same as B intersection A complement. So B minus A is just the same as B intersection A complement, which is just um, which is just equal to you get your A complement. So A complement, where is A complement? So we have two, three, four, five in A. So a complement is just 0, 1, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is A complement. We just exclude this part, which is A. And then that pa the, the remaining parts there, uh, intersection B, we find the common elements between uh, B and this part here, this part which I've left this side and I mean this part which I've left this side and this side. So which one, which elements are common there? We have six, eight, and ten. So the answer here can be six, eight, ten. So these are simply the solutions. If this was the question. And then uh, question six says x minus c complement intersection b minus a minus b. So x minus c complement x minus c. So if x is our universal set, when we say x intersection c complement, and then we have intersection a intersection b complement so if this is so this is how you write such an expression and then a intersection c complement is simply just c complement intersection a intersection b complement so we start with what is in the brackets there so i can write this as c complement intersection what is a intersection b complement so b complement when you look at the sets here b complement uh, okay b complement is just a uh, we have two, four, six, eight. Or oh, B complement is just here, and then we intersect this with A. So A intersection B complement is just uh, three and five. Three, comma five. So this is our. Let me use these kinds of brackets since we are just listing sets. These are not intervals. So C complement intersection uh, A intersection B complement. So the final answer will now be. So what is our C complement? First, let's list C complement here. C complement, C complement, C complement. Okay, so C complement will just be equal to. We have two, four, five, six. So we have numbers from zero, we have zero, we have one, two, three, we have three, 
four, five, six. We have seven. We have seven. We have eight, nine. Ten. Yeah, we have ten. So this is our C complement. So if this is our C complement, let's intersect it with uh, this uh, set here, A intersection B. So the only common element there is just three. So three is the only element that is common, and as a result, this is the solution. So these are the solutions for question six B. Yeah. So see you in the next tutorial video. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. Shalom, shalom.